are above your name jesus is above everyone's name on earth lord and i don't even know why people want to even come close i don't even know why they want to even try to step to you they can't step to you you know why because when you came boy you set it on fire jesus you was just like hey we just gonna we just gonna get crucified and and and, and then come back to life like we just gonna straight up do what we gotta do Oh, thank you for worshiping with me, worshiping the Lord on the Saturday, I mean on the Sunday, excuse me, Sunday, October 8th, right here. This is Remix to Church, y'all. Remix to Church. Uh, if y'all don't know, we have a 24-7 uh, radio station called BumpFM.com. If you need any Christian music, you can go there. If you want to tap in with us during the week, we got program in the morning called the get up and get it morning show get up and get what you need get up and get what you want get up and get what god has for you today and um we're starting something you know god has placed it on my heart to start a worship service on sundays um in the afternoon it's going to be a little twist to it it's not going to be traditional it's going to be a little bit different but uh, we're going to do a worship service we're going to try to be faithful to this thing and do this every sunday for you guys so um between four and five o'clock so uh bear with us with the time and all the glitches and all the technology and all that um we just here for it we're here to just serve the lord the best way we know how with the resources that we have and all that so keep connected with us also october 15th we will be doing socktober outreach in kennedy plaza so if you know anyone who is homeless and in need of shoes or in need of anything like that uh thank you dj t rel there is no sound hold on let me try to uh adjust the sound on on this thing um so so yeah hopefully that fixes the no sound thing so okay so on october 15th we're going to be doing socktober um socktober on um in providence rhode island we're going to be giving away socks we're going to be giving away shoes we're going to be giving away bibles we're also going to be praying we're going to be uh believing for miracles we're going to be trying to cast out these demons man we're going to there's a lot of stuff going on out there last time we was down there my wife she'll let you know um the demons was out bro. they was ready to slap me hit me flip me everything i was like oh snap they ready to come get me out here but yeah so we're gonna be down in kennedy plaza again uh in providence and we're, we're listen we're we're believing for this thing to just be whatever god needs it to be and you know and that he uses us in the way that he needs to so <clears throat> stay tuned for that stay tuned to remix the church as well we're going to be doing that and we got a word today we got a word today i will be giving us a word i'll be giving a word today you know it's not often a dj or a man who plays music has much to say but unfortunately i am one of those djs who have much to say much to, much to say about god much to, much to say about jesus amen so today's today's talk is going to be about god is about god god really loves us and I know you hear this a lot, but God really does love us. Uh, if you didn't know before, God loves you. And, and, and here is what the Bible says about love. Okay, so in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 7, it, it, it reads, Love is patient. This is what the Bible says about love. This is what the Bible says about love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. Let's say that one more time. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. So when some people are a little bit self-centered and selfish, that's not really love. That's like self-seeking. Um, it is not easily angered. And I listen, I fall. I fall to this. It's not eagerly, easily angered because I know sometimes we do get anger easily. You know, it says it keeps no record of wrongs. Oh, my goodness. If love keeps no record of wrongs, I don't know what I'm doing out here. It says love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And that comes from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 7. Um, and we're going to go to another scripture. Uh, and this scripture is going to come out of the book of John, uh, 
the Gospel of John actually got uh, 15 in verse 7. And this is what Jesus uh, says about love. He says, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. And, 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 and that's what Jesus says about love. love. Love each other as I have loved you. Now, we're going to still get into some more scripture because we really want to get this really this good idea of really what love is. And uh, this is what uh, the letter of First John reads. Now, this is not the gospel of John. This is First John. And First John is a little bit more towards the back. And it's funny that they call it First John because they still haven't given uh, John the glory or, or should I say they haven't given him the the um, authorship of this book. But it's John four verses seven and eight. It says, dear friends, let us not love one. another. Let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Now, this is this is what a lot of people are running out here running. They're running rampant. Oh, yeah. I know who God is. God is love. Listen, God is definitely he is love. Trust me. He really is. I don't commend with that. But let's just. Think about the idea of really what love is, because sometimes the world can tamper with a, a, a holy word and confuse people with really what love is. Now we're going to go into the book of Matthew. This will be my last scripture that I take from the Bible. It says Jesus replied. So this is Jesus talking now. It says, love the Lord, your God, with all your heart. And with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two. So all the law, all the laws, so all the commandments, they hang on these two. And it, the, the two is, you know what it is. The two is, it says, it says, love God and love others. That's what it says. So thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not uh, commit adultery. All these commandments are based upon that. And I can't, I can't really lie. Sometimes we confuse really what love is. Like, like when you're growing up, in, in these neighborhoods and and you see people uh, doing things they might do something let's just say somebody might steal something and they and, and they, they went in a the corner store and they stole something and they come up to you and they're like here here's something that I stole I'm gonna give it to you I remember when I was coming up I would say like yo he just showed me some love because he gave me something that he had but to be honest he could have got me in trouble because now i'm an accomplice i could have went to jail for that because now i got stolen property and now the police could he could have flipped it on me and just was like yo hey he told me to steal it for him then i was behind bars for the rest of my life over something stolen inside a corner store can you imagine that hold up Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I don't want to lose y'all. I don't want to lose y'all on really what love is. Because we we confuse really what love is. So I had to do a little deeper. I had to go deeper as as my wife says. My wife says, listen, you need to go deeper. And I'm like, sometimes I just be wanting to be like simple. I want to keep it simple, but you really can't keep everything simple. So here, here, I had to go on. Listen, this is my idea going deep. I went on Google. So, so, so I went on Google and I decided to go deep. And when I went deep, I was like, yo, let me, let me just Google the definition of love. And this is what Google says love is. We know what God said love, what love is, but this is what Google says. Google says an intense feeling of deep affection. Babies feel parents with feelings of love. Then it says a feeling of deep romantic or sexual attract uh, attachment to someone. 
they were both in love with her. And I don't know why they said they both was in love with her because that was too much right there. So we got problems right there. Then it also says affectionate greeting conveyed to someone on one's behalf. Give her my love. So you could give somebody a regard or say, hey, send my love with you. Um, and then it goes on and on and on about all of these terms about love that if you really want to keep it 100, 100 percent and keep everything clear. This is totally confusing at this point. We don't even listen. If we were to just go to the world and ask the world, what is love? Would they be able to tell us what love really is? Would they be able to tell us? Would they be able to tell you, co-pastor? Not according to God. So with so many definitions, none can be compared to really God's love. Nothing can be compared to God's love. See, see, because if we are reading our Bibles, you can get a Bible that's translated. It's been translated, but we don't speak Greek. And some of the book was, 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 was in Greek. And the love that God is talking about, he's talking about agape love. Can everybody say agape love? Agape love. Agape love is a sacrificial love that unites and heals. It is the love of God that we see through the cross of Jesus Christ. This love saves and restores humanity in the face of sin and death. Hold on. I think that's too much for y'all. That's too much for y'all. We got to back this up. We got to say that one more time. Somebody say agape love. Agape love. Now, agape, do we know what agape love is? It says agape love is a sacrificial love. So that means the love that it is, it's sacri the love is sacrificing something. It says that unites and heals. It is the love of God that we see through the cross of Jesus Christ. Come on now. Somebody, listen, if y'all ain't excited about the sacrifice of Christ, this man came into he came into the earth he came into the earth and he gave his body and everything that he had to those who he loved which is humanity he loved humanity it says this love saves and restores humanity in the face of sin and death listen then we're going to go let's go let's let's turn our bibles to to John the gospel of John 15:13 and this is what it reads. This is what it says. It says, greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. Now, can I get an amen? When's the last time, when's the last time you had a friend that was willing to sacrifice anything for you? I mean, me personally, I got a problem with sitting in the car. I don't like sitting in the car. But sometimes when it's family vacation, I got to shut up and sit in that car. I got to sacrifice every feeling, everything I got in my life. I'm like, oh, my goodness, I got to get to Florida. We got to get to Florida. It's serious. This is a huge thing. Listen, I have to sacrifice. But listen, that's nothing. I can't even compare that to what God has done. Do you understand to sacrifice your life for somebody who you won't even like you really don't even know but that's not true because jesus does know us and he knew exactly what we needed and when we needed it because when we was out here living in sin he he went to the cross even before i was born before you was born apparently you're living now now listen this agape love that we're talking about the word agape is used 106 times throughout the new testament Listen, 106 times it was used. So it's definitely significant. But what are these people really talking about love? Does love mean that I can get married and when I don't feel like being married, I can just let go? Does that mean that? No, I have to sacrifice my feelings for, my, for, for, for the vows that I've made to God and to my wife. Amen. Can I get an amen to my spouse? The sacrifice that sa sometimes it ain't going to feel good, church. Sometimes it ain't going to be what we want it to be. Sometimes it ain't going to look right. Sometimes it's going to be wrinkled, but we still got to put it on. Sometimes it might have a little stain on it, but we got to sacrifice our egos of wanting to be perfect. We got to sacrifice our money. We got to sacrifice our time. We got to sacrifice our health sometimes. It it's crazy. I hate eating uh, 
of vegetables, but I need to sacrifice my taste buds and eat them vegetables. I know I need to. I need to. Amen. Amen. So listen. The next time somebody comes up to you and tells you, I love you, and they ain't put no work in, this is what you tell them. I love you too. <laughs> but you already know it ain't like Jesus love you. It ain't like how Jesus love you. Because we can we love each other. We're support called to love each other. The way God, the way God intended, He said, love God and love others. Just because we know that they faking with us don't mean we gotta always pull their card. We ain't always gotta be like, I ain't messing with you. We got to show love, though. I might have went left, but it, listen, it's love, though. That kind of love ain't the same. That's the point. Jesus' love is always on top. So when people start to try to compare gods and all this and all that, did your God sacrifice anything for you? Or is he only telling you that you did this wrong and now you got to bow down to me? That you've fallen short, and now you have to do something to get to me. God, your God's Jesus, Jesus, Jesus sacrificed his life. He sacrificed his life for you so that you may be in right standing with God. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. We can't get, we cannot be God. God is too big. Agape. Look up, look it up, look it up. Do your own research. Look it up. That agape love is that sacrificial love. And that's that love that we need to learn how to display. And we need to learn how to produce in our lives. And with that, I'll close. I'll close on that. Now, there's no love like Christ. And we know that. So if you haven't accepted Christ as your Lord and your Savior, you can do so today. Repeat after me. Father God, I'm a sinner. I have sinned against you, Lord. I believe that you went to the cross for me. And I believe that you are the son of God. Right now, I repent of my sins, Lord. I turn 100% away from them towards you, Father. And I'm asking, I'm praising, and I'm praying. That you will be my savior today, Lord. I accept you in my life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Now, if you said that prayer today, I, listen, I'm not asking that you contact us on Twitch so everybody can see you. Or if you contact so everybody can see you, you could contact us on the back end. You could go to RemixTheChurch.com, give us some information, just like where we can email you some materials on how what it means to be a disciple of Christ and uh, what it, what it, what, what's required of you for being a disciple of, of Christ. So if you want to do that, you can go to www.RemixTheChurch.com, fill out our Connect section. And then we will get back to you with the materials that are needed. We Right now, we just thank you for uh, being here. Thank you for listening. And if you were touched in any kind of way by this, maybe it's the Holy Spirit tugging at your heart. So on that note, we're going to finish. We're going to wrap this up. I know it was really short this time. We really working some things out. But the only way you're going to learn how to do it is if you do it. So that's what we got to do. So thank you all for being here, whoever's here, DJ T. Rel, I salute you, my brother. I will be back. Don't forget tomorrow to get up and get a morning show in the mornings, um, Monday through Friday. Uh, yeah, we going. Yeah, baby, we on the holiday. Yeah, yeah, we gonna go on the holiday. Miss Washington, blood. She said she want me all to herself on the holiday. So I said, listen, I gotta, I, I can't do that, baby. I got, I got things I gotta do. I got moves to make. Amen. <laughs> she said I'm doing <laughs> she did yeah, they can hear you she said she said I'm doing too much that's all right listen sometimes I gotta do too much that's that sacrificial love yeah all right y'all we love y'all listen stay blessed tune in bump FM or come back Monday through Friday uh 6 a.m to 7 a.m where you can get up and get it get up and get what you need get up and get what you want get up and get what God has for you and uh Tapping with my family, what we doing? We got Blake too. Blake be in the background saying amen and all that. Um, 
Absolutely. Amen. So um, what else? Do we have anything else? Oh, yeah. Thank everybody for the donations. And if you want to be a part of the uh, Socktober event, y'all could just contact us, uh, you know, www.bumpfm.com or just hit us up. You know how to hit us up. We thank y'all for being here. We're going to get off of this stream today and we're going to go and eat some good food today. Thank y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you uh, for your sacrifice and your sacrificial love. All right, y'all. We out of here. Yeah, baby. We'll pray for our food when we go upstairs, baby. All right. We still on live, though. I know y'all think we not on live, but we still on live. We definitely still on live. All right, y'all. We, we, we done.